dimensions. In mechanics, we are dealing with physical quantities like mass, time, length, velocity, acceleration, etc. And these physical quantities can be expressed in terms of three independent base quantities that is mass, length and time. This we call it as the dimension. So how to define a dimension? The dimension of a physical quantity can be defined as any physical quantity which is expressed in terms of base quantities whose exponent, that is power, represents the dimension of the physical quantity. So we are defining the dimension of the physical quantity as that is any physical quantity which is expressed in terms of what the three base quantities that is mass, length and time and their powers are representing the dimension of the physical quantity. Okay. So the notation used to denote the dimension of the physical quantity is you have to write the physical quantity within the square bracket. Within the what? Square bracket. Now there are seven dimensions of the world. Now here it is fundamental quantities and dimensions. Here you can see length which is represented by capital L within square bracket. Mass capital M, time capital T, temperature capital K, current capital A, amount of substance capital N, luminous intensity capital G. Okay. Now we'll go for the examples. Now you take length. Length means dimension of length okay area means what dimension of area so the dimension of length can be expressed in terms of base quantities as length is only l only so but we are representing in terms of m and t also so we are writing m raised to zero the power of m is zero l as one and t as zero which is same as that of what l Similarly, when you go for writing area, the formula for area is L square. Okay. So we can have length into length. So the dimension here is L square. Okay. So here M raised to 0, L square, T raised to 0. So which is same as that of what L square. So we are representing in terms of three physical quantities raised to their powers. Volume. M raised to 0, L cube, T raised to 0, which is also what L cube. Okay, now all these quantities, the base quantity L is same, but the power are different, which means the dimensions are what? Different. Okay, all length, area, volume, all are having what dimension as what? Same, but their powers are what? Different. So their dimension is different. Okay, for a pure number, exponent of base quality is what? Zero. Now we'll go for direct writing the dimension of some more physical quantities. We write for speed. We know speed is equal to distance by time. This is the formula. Okay. Distance, the dimension for distance is L. The dis dimension for time is T. So we can write L by T. Taking T to the numerator, we are writing it as LT raised to minus 1. Similarly, we'll go for writing for velocity. Velocity is displacement by time. So displacement is also nothing but what measurement of length. So it is L by again time is T. So T. So it is LT raised to minus 1. Here speed and velocity are having the same dimensions. These two physical quantities are having same dimension. Then we can go for acceleration. Acceleration is equal to velocity by time. So that is LT raised to minus 1 for velocity by time. So taking T to the numerator, you are getting LT raised to minus 2. Then we'll go for writing for momentum. Momentum is mass into velocity. So for mass, it is M. Velocity, it is LT raised to minus 1. So we can write it as MLT raised to minus 1. The next thing is force. Force is mass into acceleration. Mass is just M. Acceleration is LT raised to minus 2. So we can write it as MLT raised to minus 2. Okay. Now we know there are a lot of forces out there in nature. There is There are four types of forces. That is strong force, electromagnetic force, weak force and gravitational force. And some other forces are the, the frictional force, centripetal force, centrifugal force, magnetic force. All those forces. All the forces are having the same dimension. All the forces are having what? The same dimension. 
the next one is impulse impulse is force into time so what is for force force is mlt raised to minus 2 for time it is t so we can write t raised to minus 2 and t so that is t raised to minus 1 okay so impulse is having the same dimension for momentum momentum just we can learn mass into velocity so mass into velocity is mlt raised to minus 1 impulse and momentum are having same dimension now we can go for angular momentum what is angular momentum moment of linear momentum that is linear momentum into distance linear momentum into what distance so what is for linear momentum ml t raised to minus 1 for distance it is l so we can write it as m l square t raised to minus 1 okay ml t raised to minus 1 into l that is m l square t raised to minus 1 now we go for work work is force into displacement what is for force force is ml t raised to minus 1 minus 2 sorry ml t raised to minus 2 displacement is what l so ml square t raised to minus 2 we'll write for kinetic energy kinetic energy is half mv square this half is not having any dimension numbers are not having any dimension so it is mass into velocity square so we can write it as m for m it is m velocity it is lt raised to minus 1 the whole square so that is l square t raised to minus 2 so we can write m l square t raised to minus 2 similarly we can write for potential energy mgh so m mass l m for g it is lt raised to minus 2 for h it is l so m here one l and another l l square and t raised to minus 2 okay now moment of force moment of force is force into distance okay so it is m l square t raised to minus 2 now you can see energy torque all potential energy kinetic energy all are having what same dimensions so many physical quantities will have what same dimensions so now in this table column you can see the physical quantities their formulas and their dimension okay so each physical quantity is having a formula and we can derive from the formula the dimension so there are so much of what physical quantities we can derive the dimensions of them from their respective formulas okay now we'll go for the dimensional formula what is the dimensional formula now the dimensional formula exp expression which shows how and which of the fundamental units are required to represent the unit of a physical quantity so how and which of the fundamental quantities are required to represent the unit of what physical quantity so we are writing how we are going to write express and what are the physical quantities we are going to represent okay so that we call it as what dimensional formula here you can see m l t raised to minus 2 so here what are the quantities required here it is l and t only m is what zero so to represent acceleration we need length and time as the what fundamental units okay now dimension variables physical quantity which possess dimension have variable values are called as what dimensional variables okay so some all the physical quantities which are having dimensions have what variable values the values can be what changed so that we call it as what dimensional variables example length velocity and acceleration then what is dimensionless variables now physical quantities which do not have what dimensions but it will have what variable value some of the physical quantities which are represented in ratios will do will not have what dimensions but it will have the variable value it will have the what variable value that we call it as what dimensionless variables here you can example is specific gravity strain refractive index all are what ratios okay so they don't have any dimension but their values can be variable the next one is dimensional constant some of the constants are having what dimensions 
for example gravitational constant planck's constant boltzmann's constant all these constants are having what dimension so such constants we call it as what dimensional constants so the di constants which are having dimensions are called as what dimensional constants then dimensionless constants some constants they do not have what dimensions such constants we call it as what dimensionless constants example pi e some numbers all those are having what no dimensions so that is called as what dimensionless constant then we have to go for an important property here that is called as the principle of homogeneity what is called as a principle of homogeneity now you can e check an equation whether it is dimensionally correct or not okay if you want to check the equation whether it is dimensionally correct or not then the dimensions of of various terms of the equation should be same of the equation should be what same suppose an equation is having four terms all the four terms should have the same dimension okay this we call it as what the principle of homogeneity if they are having the same dimension then we call it as the equation is dimensionally correct this we call it as the principle of what homogeneity of dimension here you can see the equation equation a plus b is equal to c okay this equation is correct only when the dimensions of a b and c are what same okay so this is about what principle of homogeneity so now we have learnt about the basic things of what dimensions so we have to derive the dimensions from the respective formulas okay i hope you could have understood this topic we'll see in the next topic